What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we are back with Dr. Jake Suva. We're gonna be talking about something super important, something that's discussed as you see by the topic or title of this video. We're gonna talk about squatting. We're gonna talk about squat shoes, what you should wear, what you shouldn't, why you should wear it, and why you shouldn't wear something. Stop it. Get some help. So we are here at a new gym I've never been to called Legacy Edge, I think 360 is part of the name. So I tried to come here like many years ago, but they were closed the day I showed up. So this is our first time here. This is where Dr. Jake is posted up at and it should be a great way to stay in shape. So let's get inside. How are you, doctor? Good. Doctor. What are you doing? <laughs> Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. All right, so here's the digs. We're checking it out. Cardio machine's there. Pretty snazzy. It's pretty spacey. Where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, Squad rack? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we'll... All right, let's I'll do it. Know. All right, so we're back. We're with Dr. Jake Suva. It's so uh, weird to say. I got it right? Yeah. Thank goodness. I've been practicing all of my way here. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. But, so we are going to assess... What are we, tell them what we're assessing. You tell them. So from our first video, we were looking at Chico and a squat, and now we're going to break it down a little bit further. Yeah, so we are going to go back over the squat mechanics again and how he looks, and then we're going to make God, some beats God. when he actually gets Damn. under the bar and see what was what's going to be optimal for him with his shoes, with his uh, width of his legs, and which direction he should point his toes, all that stuff. So we'll go through it all today. And I think one key component is to remember, like, this is for me, right? Yeah. Like, it, it's not a copy-paste. Whatever he, Jake says, for me, don't copy unless we somehow miraculously have the same biomechanics and structure. Right, and some people will have a very similar looking squat, right? Yeah. But, but yeah, it's gonna be different for everybody what's optimal. So let's see what's good for you. All right, let's do it. I know you've it. tried a lot over the years. <laughs> yeah. High, low, high, low, forward, flat, uh, yeah. High bar, low bar, flats, heels, barefoot, uh, yeah. If you can do it, you've done it. What? Yeah, pretty <laughs> much, pretty much. I'm, dude, summertime right now, it's like perfect in here. Yeah, yeah, this is good. All right, so where am I going? All right, so we'll start with you just facing the wall. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, you'll face the wall. You'll keep your arms overhead. That's a key component with the test to the thoracic rot or extension, which you can keep. So now let's see you drop into your squat. Oh, this so is going to be No, 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 no. You, that's a tweet. I want the test to shoulder width. Ah, yeah. Listen, I'm going to fail this test. That's all I'm saying. You are, yeah, you <laughs> You're done there, man. You're done there. <clears throat> you pause. Come back up. Right there, eh, a little more. Come down. Up. Oh. Right there. But that's that's what you got. Right there. And you were already towing out right there. Gonna come back up. Brutal. Yeah. So let me throw the heels on here. Thank you. All right. And then I mean we can keep the trunk vertical to the parallel to the shins in this in this view. And we were not able to do that this low without. Right. So come back up again. Like we were there. Well, come back slower now. And pause there, right? So we, we just started to get that towing out a little bit here still. Come back up and run through one more rep. And that was a good one. Yes! How does that feel for you? Good. No pinching in the hips. No. Ankles are good, no pinching there. Right, yep. Come back lower. Yeah. It's winking. It's winking there, so we've already gone too deep. Come back out. So truly, I know it's like a bunch of deep squats right now. Dude. Right? Like the test is the exercise. So let's come down one more time. Just really seeing where we start to run in that issue. Right there. Because it's really hard to reverse from that. Yeah. You get heavy, and to be able to reverse, it's a lot easier to just drop down, get that stress, stretch Plus, the flex out the bottom. USAPL depth, like your, your hip crease has to be beneath your knee. Oh, yeah. That was the main reason why like I had to learn to squat that deep and stuff. So here it goes out. Yeah, you were probably towing out of there. And then you were a little wider than shoulder width now. Yeah, and then now try it again. And this is flat, right? So yeah. it's going to be different than our test. <laughs> uh, we still, we lose it a little bit. Right? <laughs> again, in this case, when that still happens, we make these tweaks. Yeah. When we get into standing, ankle. It's usually an issue because ankle is eliminated here. Yeah. Because you don't need the ankle when you're flat. But now, or when you're on your all four. But when we go flat standing, now we need it. So let's flip it again. 
nice. We got the heels elevated, we got your legs. So wider than shoulder width and slightly pointed out. All right, so there we go. And that might even, this might resemble more of your low bar squat anyway. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and then back up. And it looks pretty good. Does it feel all right? Yeah, I mean, sometimes it feels like a strain, like hip flexor and like right here on the side socket. But I don't know if it's cause like I sit so much from, well, from work. I don't know if it so, like my glutes turned off or whatever, but like sometimes yeah, you, I'm like, I you wonder. Don't get, you don't get the good yeah. quality contraction that you feel like you should. Right, exactly. So you want me to do it again? Uh, no, we're good with it. Okay. Let's actually let's head over to the bar and start using the bar. Getting under the bar now, let's go. Now we're gonna put Chico to the test under the bar. Let's see what he can do. We're gonna do some high bar squatting. We're gonna do some low bar squatting. We're gonna use his flat shoes, his Reebok lifters, those like the cross, crossfit lifters. The PR lifter PR, twos, bro. PR, lifters. PR then, dude, put no some way. respect. We'll let him do things how he normally does, and then we'll make the tweaks after. <coughs> to here. Let's try to bring your knees forward a little bit more. Like, okay. Yeah, on this one, try to let the knees drive forward. They don't want to come forward very much. They, they stop moving. When we run out of that from the knee and the high bar, because with the high bar, we want to have the knees coming over the toes. Not like here, right? But right. the flexion and the knee flexion. But with you, you stop coming forward, and then it has to all come from hip and lumbar spine. To try to get my depth. So yeah. is that because of my ankles? Typically. I mean, okay. it, it, can be, it can be because the quads just don't want to load anymore, because the more knee flexion, the more quad loading. Yeah. So it, typically the two biggest reasons are because of the weak quads or because of an ankle issue. But then that's where we run into now already switching over to the other shoes with the elevated heels to see if it's different. Okay. I do have the uh, ankle mobility of a hippopotamus. Yeah. <laughs> So and we, and we saw that in the last game. Yeah. What you might think is, well, if, if I'm sitting like this all day, I'm already in this. My hips are flexed. Why should I have good hip flexion? Right? And you're probably not thinking of it like that. But getting here is different than sitting here all day because of what I just showed you, that you can cheat like this all day. So you're actually not in true hip flexion. You're in lumbar flexion, not hip flexion. So don't think because you sit all day, you're already going to have hip flexion. So you might still need to mobilize it, and that's what Chico needs to do. Do you want me in heels? Yes, stay in heels. Okay, yeah, thank God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank the we'll Lord. We're gonna in here until like, we'll, st we'll start deadlifting in these shoes, and then we'll go back okay. to barefoot or, or whatever. Or the We're gonna start flats. the story at the end, periodically referring to the beginning, and then also <laughs> periodically referring to the end. That's another guy's reference, like if you guys don't know. It's a what? Other guys? Other guys with Mark Wahlberg yeah, and Will Ferrell. I can't Farrell. remember what part of the movie that would be in. It was with the, the one finance guy, and he goes, he's like, gentlemen, I'll explain everything to you. Oh. I'm gonna start the story at the end, periodically referring to the beginning, then coming back, periodically referring to the end. Before he starts bribing him. With yeah. <laughs> How was, uh, how was Jersey Boys? It was not good. It was phenomenal. <laughs> you totally undersold the pageantry. Dude, Anthony, yeah, Christian, yeah. Josh, and I, we can refer that, like, quote that movie, like, nonstop. Take a look at how he is in the front spot. The are in the front is a bit different. Ooh. Damn, boy, he's thick! Uh, I like it. It looks pretty good. Just a little slower, a little more control here. Stop yelling! Boom, there, pop back up. Man, that looks nice. Ah! I'll just show it. We'll tag in. I'll tag in to show the wrong thing. Some people can get here, and then as they come down, their knees want to cave in. Yeah. You might have seen that a lot. So, a fix with that. Is that weak time, glutes, you'd say? Usually, glutes, hip, external rotator. Because in this case, the muscles don't work as external rotators, but they work to decelerate internal rotation. So it just flips. Okay. That weakness there. It's not gonna, that load's gonna be too much. I'm gonna cave in, and those you know, knock knees type uh, appearance to it. As a correction, what you can do, you can put a band, you might have seen this, band above the, the knees, right at the thighs, and with that, you're forcing the muscles to have to work. So if you had that cue first, you'd wanna go super light first, but you'd put the band around, and then you have to actively keep the tension on the band. Knee stays over about the second toe, and as you're coming down, you're pushing out actively. So it's over correction by adding even more force, you have to push out. So that's a technique that you can use if you've been having issues with your knees caving in in your squats, drop the weight back considerably or use a goblet squat with a dumbbell or a kettlebell. Put that band above the knees 
and try to focus here for a bit. That's one way that you can start strengthening those muscles up. Of course, notes with the, with the low bar squat versus the high bar squat, you're, you're gonna have less knee flexion, so knee coming forward over the toes. So what that ends up happening is you're gonna have more of a hip dominant squat anyway. Peter is already a, a more hip dominant guy with the squat, or at least hip lumbar spine. So you can see in this case, with him, it's a pretty aggressive link at the bottom there. And watch that knee. Does it, it does it come that far forward? It stops pretty early. And then the rest of the motion comes from the hips and lumbar spine. So you might have heard before how the lumbar squat can be more for the hips and this is why you can get more hip flexion here. While in the high bar squat we could hopefully have the knees moving forward over the toes and more to load our quads more and become more quad dominant. Either are good, you just gotta know why you're doing it. That's the biggest thing. It's not a good or a bad exercise, you just gotta know why you're doing it. It's exercise that are bad for certain people, exercise that are good for certain people, you just gotta know why you're doing it. <laughs> so truly. What do we think, Doc? You, what do we think? I would, I would stay away from the low bar squats for you for now. Really? Yeah, really. Even though Rip. that's what feels comfortable. Rip. You can still do them, but I prefer the high bar variation for you right now. So the front squats look the best. Yeah. Front squats look great. Which is surprising. Faster. Great. The best. The best <laughs> great for my squats. Yeah. But as you continue to work on your hip mobility yeah. and the ankle mobility, and really retesting it. So it'd be good to see in six to eight weeks after Chico doing a, a good program of mobility, where's he at? Is Created it customly by Dr. Jake Suva. Boom. Always plug. And that is actually where we are gonna end this video. An abrupt ending, but we are in post-production. And I realized that this would be a super long video because it's been very informative. Just on the squat portion alone, and we have a whole deadlift segment that we filmed as well. Uh, I do apologize for Jake's mic. I don't know why it was being so buggy, but shout out to Shan for getting all the captions on the video. Absolutely fire as always. But I hope you enjoyed the squat video. Uh, you learned kind of my biomechanics, how to assess your biomechanics to figure out what is best for you in terms of a squat shoe to use, overall stance for your squat, as well as best bar positioning. So that's kind of how Jake was able to diagnose it for me. So you could use those same principles and apply it for you. So make sure you follow Jake. All his information will be down below and make sure you drop a like on this video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, turn on your post notifications and send the video to your friends so you don't miss the Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday vlogs or the Monday podcast. But most importantly, don't forget to have a great day or night. Don't forget to keep God number one. God bless.